here to give you the best books of 2012. Yay, the year is drawing to a close and we all have finished our Goodreads challenges of books that we set to accomplish to read and that was the time to review which ones were our favorites of the favorites. Quite a few books to show you. Um, a lot of people are doing the top 12 of 12 and I think that's great but I actually have 13 I just counted so you know we'll label this top 12 is 12 but you and me just you and me you know it's really gonna be 13. But that's okay. Really hard to choose from like I was looking through the books I read this year and I was like I really like that one but do I love it but I really liked it but do I love it but I read it again do I need it right now that kind of stuff so a lot of these books you may be like that's really not that great of a book. Well I personally enjoyed it it was one of my favorites and that is why it is on my video <laughs> and these books are not in any particular order people are usually counting down 12 11 10 I can't do that because I love all of these books they begin with the series kind of books the ones that I've already somewhat developed and or series I have just read in a whole the first book I have you guys have heard me gush and gush and gush and gush about this. that is the infernal devices by Cassandra Clare this is a prequel to her mortal instrument series and this is the second book in it the clockwork prince I picked it because it is my favorite of the series. There's Clockwork Angel and there's Clockwork Prince. I love, 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 love this book. If you guys want to see a review on what I thought of this book, I'll link a little um, thingy right here. But I really adored this one. It's definitely one of my favorites, 2012. Next, we have the Shade series by Jerry Smith Reddy. This comprises of three books, Shade, Shift, and Shine. And I love Shade and Shift. Shine not so much, but the series as a whole was one of my favorite series of all time. This is one of those series I feel like doesn't get enough talk on YouTube. I think it's a great series and I really adore it. I wish people would talk about it more because it's a great, great series. It's about um, ghosts and who was born and who can see them and this girl named Aura discovering secrets about them and stuff. I highly recommend you pick up the series. The last one's not so great, but the first two will make up for it. <laughs> the Maze Runner by James Dashner. The Maze Runner series. Trilogy. Sequel. Uh, uh, uh. It comprises of The Maze Runner, The Scorched Child, and The Death Cure. Once again, guess what? I didn't really enjoy the last book. It seems to be a trend with me. I like, like all the other books except for the last one. Is it just me, or does you guys feel the same way? This is a great series. I believe that they're even talking about making it into a movie. Holy crap, why has exploded with movies? Like, all these books are becoming into movies. And I'm happy, but I'm like, I hope they don't screw them up. <laughs> this actually takes place from a guy's point of view named Thomas. He wakes up in this, um kind of Everglades area if you will or it's called the Everglades and he's um, with like 13 and something other boys and he has no recollection of who he is or what he is but they realize that they're set on there for a task and it's like a maze. It's just a really really great series and I cannot talk about the series enough despite the Death Cure being not that great. But the first two once again will make up for it. Look you guys know I love, you guys know I adore this series and that is Insurgent by Veronica Roth. This is like my second favorite book ever. Right behind the Harry Potter series, there lies the Divergent series. And I know a lot of you guys love it out there. It's my precious. I just saw The Hobbit, so you know, I'm feeling kind of Lord of the Ringsy. This is a book, this series is about a girl named Triss, and she lives in a dystopian kind of world where there are four different factions, like the selfless, the brave, the uh, smart people, and the honest. And when you're 16, you can take a test and see which one you go for. And of course, tests, I'm not, I hope I'm not giving anything away. She is more than one. She is like, you know, and it's about all, it's about all that. I feel like this is one of the great dystopians that I think is equal parts action and romance. They don't shove the romance down your face, nor do they slap you in the face with action. Yeah. Next series I have is Delirium series by Lauren Oliver. You know, that, that series, the one with the face thing going on here. I adore this series. I think it's one of the greatest books. The uh, the next one's coming out soon. The second one was great and it presented a love triangle to me that usually with love triangles I'm always like, I'm definitely on this side and I'm not straying. But this time I'm right in the middle. I'm just like, um, I don't know where to go. So I cannot wait for the last one to come out and I think you, you definitely need to read this one. It's suffice to say that I'm going to say you definitely need to read this 
for all the books. So apologies, apologies. Here's I have is City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. This is the, I always forget, fifth book in the Mortal Instruments series. I, if you, I'm not going to talk too much about it because it's, this is fifth book in. You guys know what the City of Mortal Instruments is about. It's a great series. I love me some Clary and Jace and Simon and Isabel and everybody in the whole freaking book. You, if you have not read this series, what are you waiting for? Go pick it up immediately. The last book in the series, books that I have, is Across the Universe by Beth Revis. Her sequel was called, I'm blanking, A Million Sons. That's it. This is a great sci-fi book. If you want to pick up something different, not dystopian or vampire-y or girly, pick up sci-fi. This is a really great series. This is, I think, the first sci-fi book I've read, so I really enjoy it. It's about a girl who... She and her parents decide to get frozen in time and put on a ship called Godspeed. And they're supposed to wake up 150 years later to help with a new planet and stuff like that. But somebody yanks her plug out and wakes her up like 50 years beforehand. And as you can tell, it's going to get confusing up in here. The rest of the books I have are series that are just starting out or standalone books. The first book I have is probably, I'm going to say it. This is definitely my favorite contemporary of 2012. I'm going to nail that one in the coffin. Whereas Insurgent was my favorite dystopian, sci-fi, that kind of stuff. This is my favorite contemporary, and that is Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry. If you have not read this book, go pick it up right now. This book is amazing. This is a great, great contemporary book. It's not even... It's contemporary, but it's got kind of an edge to it, so that's a good thing for all you non-contemporary fans out there. It's about a girl named Echo who has repressed this memory. She has scars over her arms, and she can't remember why she got them or how she got them, and she's there's this memory that she has repre repressed, blocked, and in the whole book, you're trying to figure it out. And then it's also about a boy named Noah who's kind of a bad boy who's trying to fight for his... <laughs> fight for his rights to get his younger brothers out of foster daycare and with him and it's just a great love story and a great it's kind of drama-y you know if you want that kind of stuff. The next book I have is The Waiting Sky by Lauren Laura Zeeland. What drew me to this book was the cover but I'm so glad I picked it up because it is a great book. This is about a girl named I don't know Jane who is um she lives in an unstable household I don't know where her dad is but her mom is an alcoholic and she just uses her daughter for Jane's pretty much the grown-up definitely her brother goes off to be a storm chaser and she follows him for the summer to you know just get away and it it, it discover it is about the storm that she chases and the storm she chases in her own life great cover toys you should definitely go pick this up it's a short read it's worth your time trust me this book is a series that is just starting out and that is the selection by Kira Cass oh pretty ball gowns I know everyone's wearing a ball gown lately in white books what why is this book even really re represent ball gowns? Yes, it does. This book really holds true to the whole ball gown on the cover because they do wear ball gowns pretty much all the time. About a girl named America. It's kind of dystopian world, almost like Hunger Games, where the lower caste you are, the poorer you are. And the prince has decided to, or uh, is going to find a new lady, so he does these things. It's kind of like The Bachelor, but way better because I don't watch The Bachelor and I don't want to. But. This is a great, great series. I'm sure you guys have heard about this, and it's definitely good, definitely worth your time. Three books left. Are you sick of hearing me talk? Because I know I am. The next book I have is Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. You guys probably know all about Stephanie Perkins. She is a contemporary genius up in here. Everyone loves her um, and the French Kiss. I happen to like Lola and the Boy Next Door better. I don't know what it is about it. I just really adore it. It's about a girl named Lola, obviously, and about the boy next door named Cricket. Put two and two together, and there you shall have what this book is about. And the second favorite of contemporary I have is Bittersweet by Sarah Ockler. I love, love, love this book. I can't get enough of this book. Like I, I don't know if you will know about this book, but I definitely think it's one of the best, one of the best books I've ever read, actually. And this is a standalone book, so I'm quite proud of myself. Usually, I'm always like series gung ho, but I want to read more standalones, you know, and just have that breath of fresh air. Like just be done with a couple. Like they're good, they're happily ever after. We're done, so we don't have to read them ups and downs like Clary and Jace does. That's like a freaking roller coaster. It's about a girl named Hudson who is like a cupcake baker. So girls, you'll love this book. Yeah. Um, she has she has dreams about ice skating though. She's stopped doing that for some time and she's helping her mom out their diner and baking cupcakes and she's it's just rediscovering who she is and her passions for life and what she loves. Definitely a must read for you guys out there. And the last book I have is another series starting out and that will be Legend by Marie Lu. Great, great, great freaking book. Like holy cow, amazing. Another dystopian that has just 
knocked me off my chair because I'm so just amazed by it. So definitely go check it out. I really, really hope this was not a 15 minute video. Lately the videos I've been putting out have been 10, 12 minutes and I apologize greatly for that but I want to make sure I give you guys my full opinions and give you my whole list. I don't want to scrounge it down to just five books and I want to give you what they're about for new viewers that have not heard about them. So I apologize greatly for the length of these videos but I just want to make sure you guys are in the know and stuff like that. Those are my favorite books of 2012. Did you guys have similar books or totally different books? What were your favorite books of 2012? Please let me know down below and tell me because I, I need to read it. You guys need to let me know. I will see you guys in 2013. Yes, last video of 2012. I'm excited for 2013 and what it brings for this channel. I have new and exciting stuff coming up and I can't wait. And yeah, that's all for now and have a great new year. Just let it go